guys! Today I'm going to review House of Wax. The House of Wax comes to the screen in Stereovision 3D. Stereovision 3D will synthesize before your eyes the terrifying reality of it all. In Stereovision 3D, House of Wax. House of Wax came out in 1953. It's a remake of Mystery of the Wax Museum from 1933. House of Wax was the first colour 3D film from a major American studio. The director was Andrea de Toth and ironically he was blind in one eye so the 3D effects didn't work for him. The screenplay was by Crane Wilbur and it's based on the novel The Wax Works by Charles Blendon. Music was by David Batolf. The film runs 88 minutes. It cost a million dollars to make, however it became one of the biggest hits of 1953 and made back 23.75 million. It was the first major film to star Vincent Price and this film made him a star. It was re-released in 1971 and the early 1980s using different 3D formats. A remake of the film was made in 2005. The film stars Vincent Price Phyllis Kirk, Caroline Jones, Frank Lovejoy, Paul Piccany and Charles Bronson in one of his first films. So this film's a remake of the 1933 Mystery of the Wax Museum. Vincent Price plays the sculptor who's making all these waxworks and there's a fire and he gets disfigured but he also turns mad and when his waxworks reopens He's putting real people in wax instead of making wax works. So there's the DVD I've got of it. And um, what's special about the DVD is, is an extra. You get the film Mystery of the Wax Museum. So I thought that was a brilliant extra. There's been a lot of films that feature wax works. The 1933 version, Mystery of the Wax Museum. There was also Terror in the Wax Museum from 1973. Waxwork from 1988. And there was a remake in 2005 called House of Wax. So this is Vincent Price's, his very first star and role in a horror film. And he's not over the top in this film either. He's like toned down performance that he sometimes does. Another interesting thing about Price's performance in this film is it, before he gets burnt in the fire he's like this kind, normal type of guy. But after the fire, when you see him, he, he's like a totally different personality. I thought that was a, a really good performance he does. So this film was originally done in 3D so you don't get the 3D effects when you, you watch it on disc. Careful sir, keep your head down or I'll tap you on the chin. Look out! Jack! Bloody hell! Put me bloody eye out! <laughs> <laughs> Charles Bronson appears in this film, playing a character called Igor. So he's sort of like got his first starring role in this film. There's a great beginning to this film where this man sets Price's museum on fire because he's wanting the insurance money. And there's some scenes where you say the the Waxworks melting in the fire. It looks really airy actually. Seeing the eyes come out. Then later Price is killing people off and he, he dresses in black with black gloves and a black hat. So there's two women in this film that are friends and one of them gets killed and put in a waxwork and she's like the Joan of Arc. And her friend notices that she has a, a pierced ear. An earring in her ear. So she becomes suspicious after that. It's strange that 42 minutes into the, the film there's an intermission. That's really old fashioned having them. Hey them intermissions are good feel. Good way to have a bloody piss. Yeah! Yes films they should have intermissions when they do 4 hour plus films. There's good makeup in this film actually. Price's disfigurement when you see his face. He also has this um, woman's head in a box that he shows her. That's an eerie scene. Cool, Phil, can I have one of them heads? Should that have a gobble up and more? <laughs> Yeah, 
there's some women dancing trying to show off their 3D effects with, it, with their legs kicking towards the screen. Hey, that's good 3D, Phil. I had a bloody fanny pushed in me face. <laughs> So overall I thought this was a really good film but it's not without its fault. There's a bit of silly humour, women fainting and you're unable to say the 3D effects which is a shame. Some of the police work in the film is a bit slow. Some drawn out scenes where they're, they're talking and they're investigating. However the good points is Price is in it and he's brilliant. He always gives a brilliant performance Vincent Price. And the film does have a very good colourful look to it. So out of 10, I'd give this one an 8. 8 out of 10. It's a good thing for to do like this. It gets top marks, Phil. The heart plays bugger, yeah. So I'd class this film as like second tier Vincent Price. His uh, best films are The Gator of Blood, Mask of the Red Death, The Pit and the Pendulum, and Madhouse. He's also brilliant in Witchfinder General. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Like, subscribe and share. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.